good Sunday afternoon. You got the great and glorious and be famous one day Dutch back on the camera again one more time. Hi there, how the heck's it going? And now we're going to go through the um, questions and answers section I did on my celebration of 3,100 and whatever there was subscribers that I decided to, to celebrate on that one particular time. The first one says QCT MWLUAPOT. Which apparently stands for quietly chortling to myself whilst loading up a pipe of tobacco. Either that or it's an Aztec god name erupting from my brain. I won't ask a question, I suspect you'll have made the answer video before I see this one. Um I think that no. No, you 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 missed a chance there. You actually missed a chance there. But if you want to ask me another question, if I think it's worthwhile answering it, I'd be more than happy to give it a go. So, Raindog951, uh, thank you very much for participating in this session anyway. Next question we got. We got Mrs. Princess, uh, sorry, Alfie. I can't quite read that because I got my massive 300 watt light glaring into my eyeballs. But it says here, but you, you know who you are, I know who you are, so what does it matter, you know what I mean? It says here, if you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? I'd rob a bank, but that's just me. Well, hang on a second. If I robbed the bank, basically, if I was invisible, how would I be able to tell that all the money would be invisible? You know what I mean? I could be, like, um, completely invisible, including my clothes, but the money itself wouldn't be. So there would just be this, like, sack of, like, a million pounds, sort of, like, hovering in the air, sort of, like, going about it. You know, and people would find that really rather weird. Um... If I was invisible for a day, I would go somewhere where I could get some information and I, and I would then have a bet with somebody else when I came back to being visible as to what it was that, I would, that was happening or, or whatever it was in that location. All right, so I use it for fact-finding maybe. But if, if it happened randomly without any preparation, I think I would spend the whole day just panicking as to where the fuck's my body gone, basically. Okay, if you could literally travel back in time on Earth just for a visit to experience what life was like, what era would it be and what place would you choose? Well, the first thing that springs to my mind would be the era of the dinosaurs. Why? Because I think it would be incredibly cool to see uh, whopping great lizards that um, walk really slowly and stink, basically. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, just... I mean, we see these um, CGI dinosaurs on TV and we think, wow, but they must be like the biggest, baddest, smelliest creatures on the face of the planet. It must be like London Zoo, but like amplified. Uh, it would just be like a curious experience seeing dinosaurs. But if I wasn't to do that, I would go back to the War of the Roses just to see what it was like and pick up all the politics because political debates can interest me and make me, you know, I'm, I'm quite curious about that sort of thing. Or maybe I would watch the French Revolution happening. Actually watch it happening. That would be amazing. Do you do a lot of research into Eastern philosophy? If so, what fields do you look into? Um, I used to. Um, I used to look into yoga, including Chinese yoga. There is this technique whereby you um, do a massage then grasp your testicles and use the energy stored in your genitalia and shoot that up the middle pillar and it's supposed to erupt out of the third eye or out of the crown of your head um i used to do that and no it wasn't a masturbation exercise seriously it was a genuine chinese yoga exercise designed to provide more energy stimulates the orange chakra so because like chinese yoga overlaps with indian yoga at times and also the um, you know chakras and all the rest of it it's, it's too many overlaps and it all does the same kind of thing apart from that I used to do the I Ching an awful lot I don't do that as much because most of my um, symbologies that I work with are predominantly European because of history okay what is your favorite movie and why uh, there isn't these days a movie I could watch time and time and time again. When I was younger, it used to be Ghostbusters. You know, I, I used to think like Doctor Vakeman, yes, totally cool. I want to be like him when I'm when I'm all grown up. Well, now I am all grown up. Now I'm not like him, and I'm glad, basically. 
what uh, what is my favorite movie ah uh, i don't think that movie creation art has yet developed to the point whereby movies are sufficiently meaningful to resonate well enough with me there's been a great quantity of improvements in the theatrical arts as well as special effects yes and i think that's wonderful and amazing but it's not good enough uh, to really get me into the heart i mean if something was to really get me in the heart it would have to be um, I think it would have to speak to me on a self-developmental level. I mean, when I was younger, again, Flatliners was a cool movie. I could watch that time and time and time again because that spoke with things that I thought about. Uh, and it spoke to me about my guilt for bad things that I'd done. It spoke to me about my hatred for people who, you know, fucked with me. But when you grow older, that sort of thing just, like, melts into obscurity. You don't worry about that sort of thing anymore because your concerns are more to do with your day-to-day -day survival and helping other people to get over stages which you have already got through because you can't help someone get out of a pit unless you know the way out of that pit basically and, and I'm a reasonably clear-minded relatively or comparatively sane individual now so I try and use what I've got through my work uh, to bring about healing, for want of a better word, for other people. So, when I see uh, a movie which deals with a specific issue, I can't really resonate well with that. I know it's got its own target audience, but it's not necessarily me. So, maybe a movie about people who've gone through stuff and have been helping other people through the things that they've been through would make a lot of sense to me. Let's get on to the next question of today. If you had to choose between being either a unicorn with telekinesis, a pegasus with power over weather, or an earth pony with the power to grow plants from seeds in an instant, which would you choose? Uh, firstly, I'm going to choose not taking the same drugs that you're on. Okay, um, th there's this, this strong, like, four-hoofed creature theme going through your post there, okay? I don't really have a connection, you know, I don't want to be a creature with hooves much. Um, it might be great being a unicorn anyway, because then you've got a, this, like, really, really cool thing sticking out your forehead, and I think that that would be, like, totally cool, you know what I mean? But, hmm. Having power over weather, what would I use it for? And if I was to spend all my time concentrating to avert global warming, I would be exhausted. An earth pony with the power to grow plants from seeds in an instant. Well, that would be great. I could go out to the third world and I could save people from starvation. Yeah. If I was to choose, I would be an earth pony with the power to grow plants from seeds in an instant. But with a unicorn's horn and power over weather because there's no point in growing things if you can't control the weather to make sure the climate's good enough to be able to grow things i'd have to be all three any tips on learning tarot um read as much as you can meditate much and think yourself do you enjoy the smell of your own farts not taking a piss I respect mr. Dutch some people literally do apparently okay um, no I don't actually enjoy the smell of my own farts unless I've been drinking gallons of perfume which I haven't done for years Quitting smoking, I'm considering quitting, quitting, ha ha, ha ha. Okay, um, don't. Stay quit. It's difficult, but once you've given up a drug or a 
method of drug delivery. Your only real issue is to stay off it. Uh, and if you can do that, you'll be fine. So stay off it one day at a time, all the rest of that. That's all you've got to do. If you had to make your best guess based upon the evidence for psi phenomena you've personally researched, what would be your own speculative theory on how and why psi phenomena occurs? Uh, this would be my own speculative hypothesis, not theory, and it would be speculative. I would have to say there's another form of matter in the universe uh, which seems to conduct thought and it can occasionally have some kind of physical manifestation um, but how it operates I don't know and we appear to be a part of it and the fact that we are conscious is not just an illusion brought about by the physical structure of the brain and nervous system but our brain and our nervous system is just a useful receptacle and conductor of it but that would be very speculative and I can't even say that that's something I believe it's just something that I have questions about but questions are just questions they are not answers we can speculate until our toenails fall off you know you know we, we can speculate forever but speculation is just bullshit you know because we haven't got enough information all we got is like experiences and research and they don't mean enough final questions how did you get interested in tarot i live in britain it's a christian country tarot is more likely to be the thing that the occult weirdos in this part of the world are going to use okay what do you see as your influences i live in britain that's my main influence and having strange experiences and that eventually leads you to something weird now i can either just be allied to a strange new age cult or i could pick up a pack of tarot cards which is kind of which some people have turned into a strange new age cult i'll confess okay do you like any comic book mystics like dr strange mr miracle or others no, and I don't read comic books, and I don't rate comic book characters, because I think that they are very one or two dimensional, have only got one or two particular types of um, issues that make up who they are or what they are, and I need more complexity. Okay, well that's the questions and answers for today. Um, I hope I've had a chance to enlighten or entertain or educate you in one form or another. If not, then excuse me <laughs>